For decades, commercial aviation has been dominated by two giants, Boeing and Airbus. These two companies have shaped the way the world flies, setting the standard for safety, efficiency, and innovation. Their rivalry has fueled technological leaps and fierce competition, but it has also created a market where airlines had few alternatives. Their single-aisle jets, the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, have been the backbone of airlines worldwide, carrying millions of passengers every day and connecting cities across continents. For many carriers, choosing between these two was the only real option. This duopoly seemed unbreakable, until now. The idea of a new player entering the market was almost unthinkable, given the complexity and cost of building a modern passenger jet. But in June 2025, Brazilian airline Total Linhas Aéreas made headlines by ordering four C919 jets from China's Comac, bypassing both Boeing and Airbus. The announcement sent shockwaves through the industry, raising eyebrows and questions in boardrooms around the globe. This was the first time an airline outside Asia committed to the C919, signaling a potential shift in the industry. It was a bold move, and one that could inspire other airlines to consider alternatives to the established giants. The $360 million deal was more than a purchase. It was a bold statement from both Brazil and China. For total Linus Aéreas, it was a leap of faith in a new aircraft and a new partnership. For Comac, it was a breakthrough moment, proving their jet could compete on the world stage. For Brazil, it solved an urgent fleet problem. The airline needed to modernize, and the C9119 offered a timely solution, promising lower operating costs and improved reliability compared to their aging planes. For China, it marked a major step toward global aerospace ambitions. Comac's success with the C9119 is a symbol of China's determination to become a leader in high-tech manufacturing and to challenge Western dominance in aviation. This move challenges the belief that only Western companies can build world-class passenger planes. It shows that innovation and quality can come from new places and that the future of aviation may be more diverse than ever before. The deal opens a new front in global aviation competition, hinting that the Boeing Airbus era may be ending. As airlines look for new options, the industry could see more players, more choices, and more innovation. The world is watching, wondering if this is the beginning of a new chapter in the skies. Will other airlines follow Brazil's lead? Can Comac deliver on its promises? The answer is unfolding right now, high above Brazil, as the C919 takes flight and the world waits to see what comes next. Total Linus Aéreas isn't a household name, and you probably won't see their logo splashed across billboards or hear about them in the news every day. But behind the scenes, this airline is absolutely vital to Brazil's aviation network, quietly connecting cities and moving essential cargo across the country's vast landscape. Specializing in cargo and charter flights, Total Linus Aéreas has carved out a unique niche, operating one of the oldest and most distinctive fleets in the country. Their Boeing 777 which are true workhorses, average over 46 years old, making them some of the oldest commercial jets still flying anywhere in the world. In fact, the entire fleet is nearing 30 years of age, a remarkable statistic in an industry where most airlines retire planes much sooner. These aging planes are not only costly to maintain, with frequent repairs and hard-to-find parts, but they're also inefficient to operate, burning more fuel and producing more emissions than modern jets. For total Linus areas, modernizing isn't just about saving money, it's about survival in a fiercely competitive industry where efficiency and reliability are everything. New jets promise lower fuel bills, fewer breakdowns, and a much better track record for on-time deliveries, which is crucial for their cargo customers. The urgent need for new aircraft forced Total Linus Aéreas to look beyond traditional suppliers like Boeing and Airbus, who have years-long waiting lists for new planes. By choosing the C919, they became the first international customer for China's new jet, taking a bold and calculated risk in hopes of a big reward. This decision means they'll get modern, efficient planes much faster than if they waited years for deliveries from established manufacturers. It's a bold move that positions Total Linus Aéreas as true pioneers, willing to embrace change and lead the way in a rapidly evolving global industry. As the world watches, Total Linus Aéreas now finds itself at the center of a major aviation shift, shaping the future of air travel in Brazil and beyond.
The Comac C919 is China's bold challenger to the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo, two of the most dominant aircraft in the skies today. For decades these western giants have shaped global air travel but now, China is determined to carve out its own place in the aviation industry. Designed to carry between 158 and 174 passengers with a range of over 4,000 kilometers, the C919 is tailored to fit seamlessly into existing airline fleets. Its spacious cabin and modern amenities aim to provide a comfortable experience for travelers, while its efficient design appeals to airlines looking to optimize operations. China has invested a staggering $49 billion in the C919 program, signaling its ambition to become a global leader in high-tech manufacturing and aerospace innovation. This massive investment supports not only the aircraft itself, but also the development of a skilled workforce and advanced production facilities. The jet incorporates lightweight, composite materials, and state-of-the-art systems, reducing weight and improving fuel efficiency. Its advanced cockpit is designed for both safety and ease of use, reflecting the latest in aviation technology. These innovations promise up to 20% lower emissions compared to older models, making the C919 a greener choice for airlines seeking to reduce their environmental impact and operating costs. With a list price of around $90 million, significantly less than its Western rivals, and the promise of faster delivery times, the C919 is an attractive option for airlines eager to expand or renew their fleets without long waits or high costs. While the C919 still relies on Western-made engines and avionics for now, it stands as a powerful symbol of China's growing technological ambition and its drive to achieve greater self-reliance in the future. After proving itself in China's domestic market, the C919 is now preparing to step onto the world stage, aiming to compete internationally and win over new customers. The recent deal with Brazil's Total Linus Aéreas marks its first leap beyond Asia, signaling the start of a new chapter for China's aviation ambitions. Total Linus Aéreas needed new planes, fast. Their first choice would have been Boeing or Airbus, but both have years-long backlogs. Waiting until the next decade wasn't an option for an airline with an aging fleet. Comac, however, could deliver modern jets much sooner. The C919 met their needs for efficiency, reliability, and quick delivery. The decision wasn't just about specs, it was about business survival. Brazil's own Embraer doesn't make a jet this size, leaving the door open for Comac. The C919 offered a practical solution when traditional suppliers couldn't. For total Linus areas, looking east was the only way forward. This deal is as much about timing as technology. The C919 is the result of decades of Chinese ambition to build a homegrown passenger jet. China's goal break dependence on Western manufacturers and become self-sufficient in aerospace. The program began in 2008, but its roots go back much further. Developing a modern airliner required massive investment, new expertise, and a national industrial push. The first prototype flew in 2017, and after years of testing, the C919 entered commercial service in 2023. While it still uses Western engines, the C919 is a leap toward technological independence. The sale to Brazil validates China's investment and global aspirations. China's dream of flight is finally taking off worldwide. This deal is more than business. It's a symbol of deepening Brazil-China ties. Both are BRICS nations, and this partnership extends their collaboration into aerospace. For China, selling the C919 to Brazil, home of Embraer, is a strategic win. If Brazil trusts the C919, other Latin American airlines may follow. The deal could open the region to Comac, challenging the Western duopoly. There's even talk of assembling C919s in Brazil, creating jobs and sharing technology. This partnership could reshape the global aviation landscape. The sale of four jets may be just the beginning. Despite its breakthrough, the C919 faces major hurdles. It's only certified in China. To fly globally, it needs approval from the FAA and ESA. Without these, its market is limited and less attractive to big airlines. The C919 also relies heavily on Western-made engines and systems, creating supply chain risks. Geopolitical tensions could disrupt parts supply, grounding planes. China is working on domestic alternatives, but that will take time. Another challenge, global support. 
Airlines need reliable maintenance and spare parts worldwide, something Boeing and Airbus have spent decades building. Comac is just starting to create this network. For airlines outside China, after-sales support is as important as the plane itself. Proving world-class reliability will be key to the C919's global success. A third major player in aviation could mean big benefits for travelers. More competition may force Boeing and Airbus to lower prices and innovate faster. Airlines could get new, fuel-efficient jets for less, potentially lowering airfares. More affordable planes might lead to new routes and more choices for passengers. The C919's entry could accelerate industry innovation, quieter, greener, more comfortable flights. The duopoly is being challenged, and that's good news for everyone who flies. The skies are opening to new players new ideas, and better value. The C919's flight in Brazil is more than a business story. It's a glimpse of aviation's future. As competition grows, passengers stand to gain the most. The next era of flying has just begun.